So a little bit ago I had this awesome idea. It was just really crazy. I thought, what if there's a pencil sharpener, there's also a padlock, and a keychain. And this is kind of what I made. As you probably know, this starts out with the old template. So here I'm just using my compass to make the round circle and also need to make sure that the sharpener actually fits in it. One well, about have an eighth inch thick around the sharpener. I'm just taking my time with this and not really stressing about it. So I'm just going to cut it out and then glue it on to the styrofoam. As usual, I'm just going to cut out on my handy dandy styrofoam hot wire cutter. Now the thing that I really love about styrofoam is that you can actually use really fine sandpaper to shape it well. And I'm just going to cut out the pencil sharpener area with an exacto blade. So I have some wax melting so we can actually put it on the rough areas of the styrofoam model. Okay, so do you remember last time why we used a plastic bucket and that was a really bad idea? Well, no worries. This time we're going to use another plastic bucket. Well, it's not that bad. We're going to be very careful. So I'm just going to put some moist sand into the bucket. I'm also going to pack it into the cutaway area of the styrofoam model. I'm then going to put sand around the sprue and then pack it in really tightly. So I have the foundry nice and heated up. I also have some aluminum melting and now we get ready to pour. So I'm just pouring the aluminum into the inlet, which is actually called a sprue. And yes, this footage is a little old, but I mean, the new footage got deleted by mistake. So on the real padlock, there's the actual lock part. I'm going to try to make it out of a quarter inch aluminum rod. I'm going to try using my pipe bending tool, but I didn't have very much luck with that. So over to the bench vice it is. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off with a hacksaw, wait, what? Well, I guess I could find it. So I went ahead and drilled quarter inch holes. As a first attempt, I'm going to try soldering it in. However, upon cleaning it up, I found that it really did not stick. As a matter of fact, it just broke off. I think this is due because I didn't have the right solder. Fortunately, there's another way. I'm just going to put it in the bench vise, and I'm going to use a punch to actually punch it in. I'm just going to clean up a little more with some sandpaper along with a wire brush. Last thing to do is just put in the pencil sharpener and that pretty much completes it. I actually haven't seen anything like this anywhere. I definitely haven't seen another keychain like that. If you enjoyed this project, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, share with someone who you feel might benefit. If you'd like to see some other cool projects, check out my other ones. Here you'll find casting, or maybe even making some furniture. Anyway, check them out at Artisan Craft 101. Oh wait, there's more. Speaking of the Mexican tile table, don't forget, it's still for sale. Check the description for more details. Thanks for watching, have a great day.